We are in the battle that is none other than between good and evil. There is a global communist inspired campaign to paint all patriotic people as far right. They denigrate you. They demoralize you. They dehumanize you. And what do the Islamists, the communists, the liberals, what do they do? Do they stand up for us and for Britain? No, they join them in spitting on us at every opportunity. Why? Because they despise us. Islamists, communists, socialists, these people are the cancer on our planet and we must rid our nation of this evil. To these traitors, I say this. Statistics aren't racist. Facts aren't racist. And only traitors help invaders. We will do anything within our power and by all means necessary, defeat them at every opportunity. We are in the fight for our lives. But who has the belly to fight? I am recruiting community leaders who are ready to stand up and fight. But what are we fighting for? 99% of daily conversations is outrage, facilitated by WhatsApp groups, echo chambers, and doom scrolling. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the outrage without action. I'm sick of the state of my country. I'm sick of the fear, the excuses. I'm sick of the cancer that is left-wing policies, Islamism, communism, eating away at the soul of our nation, our faith and our values. I'm sick of the godlessness, sick of the degeneracy. I'm sick of the establishment profiteering off of the destruction of our country. I'm sick of the Marxists and the perverts teaching our kids, indoctrinating them to hate themselves, hate their country, reject Christianity, to cower to Islam and to bear witness to the normalization of degeneracy and debauchery. I'm sick of the lies, sick of the corruption. I'm sick of the greed. I'm sick of it all. The enemy is within. Parasites live among us, feeding off the blood of the British people. We know who these leeches are. Islamists, Marxists, socialists. These people together have done their best to rip out the heart of our nation. These cockroaches only thrive and survive when there is division and chaos, as it allows them to push their propaganda and fear tactics. Left-wing politicians have flooded our country with migrants. For decades now, millions since Blair's reign, and in true champagne socialism form, do they house these invaders in nice middle-class areas? Do they? No. No. They push them into our communities and force them onto us. When we complain that our streets are no longer safe, that our children are being groomed, that drugs are being pushed into our communities, we are called racists. We are called far right by those living in gated communities, blind to the realities of mass migration and uncontrolled immigration. As we see, the one thing that needs to be said to these people, the one thing I would say to them, how many invaders do they house? None. We know the answer, none. We are being replaced. They bring their culture, their religion, their values. They bring their entire families. And now we see the experiment 
of multiculturalism and mass uncontrolled immigration has led to the destruction of our economy as well as our culture. Because these people do not contribute. No, they leech off of our hard work and off of the back of our country, which our ancestors built. Migrants who cheat the system, migrants who do not work, and those who refuse to assimilate must go. We will no longer suffer in silence. They will try and tear down our history, but as long as we have breath in our bodies, Britain lives on. Go for it, guys. <laughs> Go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to pick a side. UKIP will be too right wing for some. People are going to be either with us or against us. I say it is time to fight back. I say let's take our country back. Those who have had enough of seeing our country, our history, our culture being dragged through the mud, I call upon you to stand with me and join us in the new right. The battle has been lost, but victory in war will be ours. Let us talk solutions. I say we purge our great nation of communist parasites, of the Islamists, the migrants who come to colonize and those who refuse to assimilate. Let us talk about the British pound. Where do you spend your money? How do you spend your money? Do you set boundaries with those who refuse to assimilate? No more Deliveroo, no more takeaways, no more spending money with the enemy and those who are here to colonize us and laugh behind our backs, knowing they are here to do precisely that. It is clear now from our grassroots to our elderly, the vast majority of people endorse our policies. The problem is they have never had a political voice brave enough to say what everyone is thinking. But today, fear no longer controls us. We control fear. Friends, we are living in a nightmare. The establishment is full of perverts, deviants and paedophiles. They care more about shagging each other than they do about our country. So it is time for us to take our country back. It is time to wake up to the reality of what it is going to take to make our families and those who shed blood for us to once again be proud. Ladies and gentlemen, the new right rises and as God is my witness, we will take our country back. And when we do, it will be for his glory. In five years time, we vote our way out of this. Thank you. Woo!